Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be working on a simple flashlight system so that the player can actually progress through the level a little bit easier. Because at the moment inside of our game, when we go up here and when all the lights go out, you can see it's a little bit hard for the player to see. They can't see the obstacles, they can't see the enemies like this crushing pillar and they're just going to find it hard to finish the game. So let's go ahead and get started and work on this. So first things first, we're just going to be making the simplest way of doing this flashlight and that is simply going to be allowing the player to be able to toggle it on and off and if you guys want me to in the next video I'll also go over how you can set up a battery system and all of that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by opening up my player character because I want this object, the flashlight basically, to be attached to the player. So go ahead and open up your side scroller character, give it a couple of seconds to load up and then from there what I'm going to need you guys to do is to go straight into the viewport and we need to add a few bits into there and a little bit of code. So give it a second and I will pause to when it's all ready. Okay, so we're inside of the player character now and what we need to do is we actually need to add a flashlight, so an actual physical light component inside of our character that is going to display and, you know, light up our scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to add component component on the left hand side. If you go ahead and click that, from here you'll get a little drop down list. Now you could go with a point light, um, but for me if you're doing a flashlight it looks a lot lot better to do it with a spotlight instead. And as soon as you do go ahead and click it, you'll see it pop up in our scene, and you'll also see the radius of which it's actually going to be having this light. Now, you can see it's quite well spread at the moment. It's entirely up to you how you have your flashlight system. So probably the easiest way to test it is to check to see if what it's got there is okay. And because we've got it in there, there's no code attached. It's gonna be that on there, Anyway, so as soon as we press play right now, it will actually have that spotlight in the scene. So if we press play, and if we walk into stuff, hopefully you can see it's starting to light up our scene here. So let me just get up in my level a little bit in one of the darker sections and you should be able to see this come to life and you can see it's there it's not very bright it's very faint but it is there so what we need to do then is I think I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm happy with the radius um, but what I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn up the intensity to 10,000 or even 15,000 so it's three times as bright as it is at the moment and then what you need to do is also just change the attenuation radius if you want to just to make it spread out a little bit more it's entirely up to you um, so I don't want it too far but I want to try and find the right balance so I think about 2000 is going to be okay for now press play and let's see how it is now you can see our flashlight's a little bit brighter let's see if we can run upstairs and hopefully we can see our flashlight coming to life so I'm going to jump over this real quick and take us up and there you are, you can start to see the floor now. It's not too bright, but it's a start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brighten this up a little bit more. I'm gonna set it up to 30,000 this time instead of 15,000. And one other thing that I wanna do is I wanna make sure it's actually not inside the player character itself. I'm gonna drag it out a little bit and I'm gonna put it about head height and I'm gonna aim it down to the floor a little bit as well um, just to get that sort of flashlight effect because really you're gonna be aiming it slightly down at the floor just so you can see where you're going and hopefully if we go ahead and press play that should look quite nice now so let's run over here and onto there and into one of the darker sections you can see the flashlights definitely coming to life now that it's actually on the floor in front of the player so let's take a look at this so there you are that is looking good um, I'm pretty much happy with that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna let the player be able to toggle this on and off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a key binding for the F key so if they press F it's gonna turn it on if they turn it if they press it again it's gonna turn it off so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go up to my project settings first because I actually need to create the input for it so open up your project settings give it a couple of seconds to load up once again computer is terribly slow and then from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna create that so I'm just gonna quickly pause the video for a second and skip to when it's open
Okay, so we've got our project settings up and what I've got to do, like we said, I've got to go ahead and create that input for it. Now we've got a couple of action mapping set up already. All I'm going to be doing is just adding one more of these for the flashlight. So just press the little plus icon up here and then just name this flashlight for now. And then as far as the key goes, you don't have to use the F key, um, but for me, I'm going to go ahead and use it. So just from the little drop down menu, just select the F key and just press that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this now and I'm going to jump into my side scroller character and we're going to go into the event graph so we can set this all up. Now by default I don't actually want the player's flashlight to be turned on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my spotlight here with the viewport selected and I'm just going to go ahead and scroll all the way down, find my visibility and I'm simply going to be uh, turning it off. So turn off rendering and then visible. And that is it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go and press play. Make sure it is completely turned off before we go ahead. So you can't see that. That is perfect. And then what I'm going to do is in my event graph, I'm going to create a flashlight event. So that's based pretty much the engine's way of knowing when they press the F key. We've just set that up. So flashlight is bound to... To this so what I'm going to do now is with the pressed thing I am going to create a flip flop node what this is going to do is pretty much alternate between A and alternate between B going from one to another so we're going to have one to toggle it on and then another one to toggle it off so this way it saves us working with a bunch of variables to figure out whether or not it's on the flip flop is going to control everything that we need to do for this so with A what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply select the spotlight and then with this, I'm simply going to type in toggle visibility for flashlight, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing again, toggle visibility for flashlight on B. And then target is spotlight. Um, and then if we go ahead and press compile and then press play. If we press F, it turns it on. If we t if we press F, it turns it on. And if we press F again, it turns it off. Um, now, pretty much both of those are doing the same thing. The reason why I have used the flip-flop node is because if you want to have different sounds for turning on and off, you can do that. Um, if you don't want to do anything fancy like that, don't worry about the flip-flop node. All that's doing is alternating between A and B. But if you're using the toggle node, it's going to be the same thing either way. Um, but for now, that is pretty much everything for our flashlight. When you press F, it turns it on. When you press F again, it turns it off. And that is all great. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. And in the next video, we'll be working on setting up a basic battery system for it. See you guys. See you later.